all right you're welcome back to the series we are looking at where we're learning how to build this intimacy with god you're welcome to the elohim koinonia so this series of teachings are to help you to build that personal intimacy with god see you have been born of god you have accepted sonship your spirit has changed from a human spirit to an elohim spirit so you qualify to partake in the elohim koinonia of the father the son jesus and the holy spirit that's what you've been called into and in that fellowship one of the beautiful advantage you have is you have the opportunity to fellowship with god the holy spirit will help you to have conversation with god the father and then you also have the opportunity to partake of divine nature so you can have character and lifestyle like christ and then partake of divine potency so you can see god's power in your life all right last time we were looking at prayer as one of the very first pillar you need to establish there's a second pillar you need to have and that is fellowship in the word of god and i call it fellowship with god in the bible it's very very important for us to understand that fellowshipping with god in the bible now there are a couple of scriptures which are very very important that we need to just quickly read in the book of luke or uh, sorry matthew chapter 4 in verse number 4 the bible says at and he answered and said it is written jesus was speaking here man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of god god says you're going to live by the word that's the word the bible whatever is written there you're going to live by it so god expects us to do quite a number of things with it number one he expects us to listen to the word all right to the bible he expects us to read the bible in first timothy first timothy in chapter number four in verse 13 look at what he said he said till i come give attendance to reading to exhortation and to doctrine reading that time they all didn't have personal copies of the bible so they went to listen to it being read today you have a personal copy all right but you're also blessed with the audio bible so you can listen also then you can read also all right then he talked about studying second timothy in chapter number two second timothy in chapter two verse 15. he talked about studying he says study to show yourself approved unto god a workman that needed not be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth what does study entails it means reading the bible to find out some more details for example you can do subject study you can study about faith you can study about patience if you lack patience you can study about overcoming anger you can study about love you can study study about victory you can study about health and all you need is just go to the search on your bible app and type health or healing or be healed or cure and then to bring out scriptures about that and you can study all right then we have the other one that is the most beautiful fellowship in the world is meditation in joshua chapter 1 verse 1 i mean verse 8 joshua chapter 1 verse 8 he said but he said this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make your way prosperous and have good success so meditation is thinking deeply on the truths that have come to you as you read the scriptures as you study the scriptures as you listen to scriptures those truths that strike you differently those verses that strike you uniquely you now sit down you think deeply on it to understand it better that's meditation for a start for the elementary level all right now fellowship in the world is very important because when we fellowship in the world we fellowship with god one of the first ways of having conversation with God is through the Bible, through the Bible, meeting with God in the Bible. In John chapter 1 verse 1, he said, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So the Word of God is God. Now guess what? In verse 14, he said, And the Word was made flesh, and that was Jesus Christ. So we can say Jesus Christ is the Word of God made flesh. We can also say Jesus Christ is the word of God in human form. Correct. 
You understand? Now, in the same vein, the Bible, whether it's an app on your phone or your tablet or the ad copy Bible, the Bible is the Word of God in book form. Yes. The Bible is the Word of God in book form. The Bible, we can also say, is God in book form. All right? The Bible is God because the Word is is God. So if the Bible is the word of God in book form, then the, if the word is God, then the Bible can be said to be God in book form. Meaning, when you carry the Bible, you can literally fellowship with God. Why? God is a spirit. is there with you as you read the Bible, as you listen to the Bible, as you study the Bible. is there with you to have conversations with you. It's very, very important for you to see this. Because when you see this, it changes your experience totally. Alright? So, it's very vital to see the Bible as God in book form. So, every time you carry it to read it, believe you are talking to God and God is talking to you. Alright? And He will be there to have conversations with you. And you'll be surprised that every day as you read the Bible, it will be speaking about what you're going through as if somebody is spying into your life and is making the Bible to speak to you. But it's not so. It's that God is alive in the book called the Bible. Alright? Now, it's important for us to not get this right. When you want to read the Bible, what should you do? When you want to listen to the Bible, when you want to study the Bible or meditate, what should you do? The first thing is to ask the teacher, the Holy Spirit, to lead you. You have to tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I want to have conversation with God. Can you please help me as I read or listen or study or meditate in the Bible? Whichever one you're doing. You must ask him. When you ask him, oh, it's so beautiful. Because the Bible says in John chapter 16 verse 13, he said, he, he said, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you to all truth. The Holy Spirit has the power and the wisdom to guide you. As you read the scriptures, he will guide you to all truth. Hallelujah. He wants to guide you and the guidance will be there for you. So the first thing to ask is the Holy Spirit. The second thing, is at any time, whether you are listening to the Bible or reading the Bible or studying or meditating in the Bible, all right, you have to set your mind that I want to know this, my Father God, that this book talks about. I want to find out about Him. Listen, a lot of people read the Bible to find promises to claim, you know, so that they can pray. Very good. That's okay. Some people read the Bible because they enjoy the stories. Great. Some people read the Bible because they want to find the laws of God. Great. But read the Bible to get to know God. As you read about God and Moses, find out who God is. What does he like? What does he need like? When your attitude is like that, you'll be having conversations with God as you read the Bible. And this is very important. I'm telling you, you find out that you find that the book is talking to you. And when he's talking to you and is addressing matters you're going through, Please respond and say, Daddy, I can see that you are talking to me now. I know you are a spirit. I can't hear you yet. But from this book, you are talking to me. And I accept it. And then write it down. Journal. Write it down that God is talking to me through the pages of the Bible. And your experiences will be deep and strong. Hallelujah. That's what God wants you to do. Now, I have a very strong advice for you. If you are just a beginner in reading the Bible. Or maybe you have been reading the Bible and you are not understanding it. Please take my advice. Go and start from the book of Matthew. The reason is this. The Bible is divided into two uh, sections. Old Testament, New Testament. Now, it teaches that the Old Testament is the shadow. The New Testament is the image. So, it's better to start with the image. So that when you see the shadow, you can know whether this is head or leg or arms or, you know, you can be able to d- define things. So, that's why it's good to start from the book of Matthew. And I recommend you, you read a chapter in the morning a chapter at night and start from there and grow and then see him talk to you see him have conversation with you then journal when a verse talks to you and talks about what you're going through write it down that god just spoke to me about patience today god just spoke to me about uh, giving today god just spoke to me about my healing covenant with him today write it like that because as you do you will find out that God will begin to talk to you more through the pages of the Bible. You're welcome to Elohim Koyonia. God wants you to know him personally. And through the fellowship in the word, you can start knowing him. I'll see you in the next class. God bless you.